Hi, my name is Brent with Subsurface Solutions, and I'm here to show you the radio detection RD1500. And what this is, is it's a ground penetrating radar. Uh, for all those lines that are plastic, concrete, they're made out of some sort of non-conductive material where we cannot use an electromagnetic locator, this is our best option. And so what this does, the ground penetrating radar, is it works a lot like a fish finder. What it's doing is it's sending a radio frequency into the ground and it's being reflected at the tops of these lines that we're looking for. And uh, what it's using actually is it's using microwaves. We're looking at anywhere around 150 megahertz and three to 500 megahertz. It's, it's shooting lower and higher frequencies all in bands at the same time and looking for responses. And so what we have here actually is we have, uh, we have three different modes. We have a line scan, we have a grid scan, and we have a map view. And so a line scan is when we're just generally going straight across and looking for responses. And then a grid view, what it's doing is it's piecing together the whole image by going back over these different spots and making a picture. And so if you ever have a spot, it'll find anything and everything pretty much underneath the ground. And then the map view, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put it all together from the top. And what's great is this piece right here, this is GPS. And so we can go ahead and use this in our GIS systems. We can incorporate it. We could save everything as we go. Um, and that way we could go ahead and just piece together the big picture. So um, the uh, other parts about this that are uh, pretty convenient is we have this nice new touch screen and it's great, it's responsive, it's easy. Um, you'll see as I go out in the field I can save arrows and I can really try to get a readout of the lines. And then it, uh, it runs six to eight hours off of a lead acid rechargeable battery. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, back up on this survey. And I'm gonna go to line scan. All right, and I'm gonna go to just no save mode and just go with the general view here. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna walk pretty slowly. And I also need to make sure that I'm getting good ground contact with this piece down here at the bottom. So it's always good to just make sure that it's good and flush with the ground. And we'll want to check that on both sides and down here and just give it a little bit more flushness. All right, so I'm gonna walk pretty slow. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm basically looking for what would be called a parabola, but they're they're basically kind of like a, an umbrella shape. Across this area, I know I have, there's phone, there's cable, there's power, and then there's also uh, some sewer laterals. And so we can adjust our gain. That's gonna help us pretty significantly. We have a lot of different color combinations. This right here is uh, just for the lighting and everything seems to work the best, but is gray. We have copper, we have quite a lot to go with, multicolored, and these all help you see responses in different soils um, that seem to stick out better. Uh, there's, with the gain, it's going to help you see more and more intensity, or it's going to give you more sensitivity. Um, there's also a soil calibration, depending on whether you have wet or dry soil. Um, but what's great is I'm actually seeing some responses on the screen that are pretty good. And as I'm looking through here, I can see these different responses. And so what I'm gonna do from this spot now is I'm gonna just roll back over. And what I have is I have a line that's scanning all the way back across as I go back over my tracks that is allowing me to line it up. And so I could see that I have something that is basically at these different types of sections. Right. So I'm going back and so I found something right here. I'm assuming this being right here 
And just having kind of a knowledge of the readout, this is where the sewer laterals are right around. Just keep backing up. And then I got a response back here, a little bit further. And now I'm assuming this is, this is a little bit deeper, probably the power line. And then there's some sort of responses that I see back yeah, on the so screen. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is find all these spots and verify them. And then I'm still picking up other things. I'm picking up some rocks in there. I mean, there could be some old junk from the construction crew that was out here before when they made the house. But I'm going to line them up in all these different spots. So if I'm really yeah, trying to single out the storm them. sewer, you just need to go by and you just need to walk perpendicular to the line. And so if you want to find out more information on this ground penetrating radar, if you'd like a demo, feel free to contact us. Uh, you can go to our website. It's www.subsurfacesolutions.com. Thanks.